We now present Kayla's worst birthday ever by Harry Strack. Oh. My. Goodness. What the hell is this garbage? Why would anyone abuse a poor kid like Kayu? He isn't even doing anything wrong yet they're chopping his arms off with an axe. I remember seeing this video before. Doris and Doris have committed terrorism, cut off this private parts and stormed on it. And worse of all, they left at his suicide. And that really, really, really pisses me off. And I've had enough of it. Kaiyu has suffered through the worst thing anyone can ever suffer, and Doris and Doris are laughing at it like it's a good thing. You know what? That's it. Someone's got to do something about this, and it looks like it's gonna be me. Time to save this four-year-old kid from those two disgusting vile monsters. And now, for your final punishment, you will be sawed in half, so that we can dine on your entrails. This is gonna be the funniest thing in the world. Hell, bitch. I can't wait to find out what a four-year-old boy tastes like. <laughs> well, Doris, it's time to paint the room Kalu red. Ha 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 ha. Stop right there, you child abusing scumbags. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't rip you apart. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fuck you up, you whore ass bitch. Yeah, who the actual fuck are you? A relative of Ernie the Giant Chicken, with a vengeance. Now, you want to tell me why you're going to cut up this boy's guts and eat them. Not to mention all the other things, like rape them, and cut off his private parts and storm on them. Plain and simple bitch, Kalu needs to die because he exists. He exists. That's your excuse. You're going to cut this innocent kid over just exist him. That is the most inhumane thing I've ever heard. Not to mention, he's a literal pussy. Pussies like him don't deserve to live, especially ones that throw tantrums at the age of two. Who the hell doesn't? Who the hell doesn't do that at the age? They're not gonna know any better. I know tantrums are bad, but hurting them over it won't solve anything. Bitch, can't you see I don't give a fuck? If you don't think any of this is funny as hell, then why don't you go back to the house on Horror Island where you belong, you fucking... Not only do you call me a whore, but you also think that all of this is funny. You think this is funny. You know what? If you think child abuse is funny, then this is hilarious. No wo 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 Now, anyone else want to face me? Come on, try me you child abusing maggot. I'll turn you into pizza. Come on, bite me. I knew it. I knew you couldn't face me. I don't give a flying fish with I killed your husband. You hurt a four year old boy for laughs. And have no regrets at all. You are one of the worst pieces of fecal matter it has ever been my misfortune to ever know about. You give humanity a bad name. Now if I were you, I'd get out of here. Cause I am this close to making you join your husband slaughtered on the floor. And word of advice, you're about as tacky. Now get out of here while you still can. Jeez. Some folks will never learn. Hey, could you please don't cry anymore? You're safe now, away from everything that hurts you. I, I, thank you so much for saving my life. No need to thank me. I just did what was right and saved you from those child abusers. Now, let me get that tape off of you. I thank you so much. Had you not been here sooner, I would have been a goner. I thought I was done for. I thought, it was all over for me. Look, you didn't deserve to be abused. Your parents have committed actual terrorism on you and they think it's all funny, when it's not. You don't deserve parents like that. You know miss, in just a couple of minutes, you've shown you're a better parent than my parents will ever be. Do you think maybe, I can call you, mommy? Well, no. I'm like, in my 20s, and besides, if I were your mom, it would be kind of shocking. 
I know you're only four and probably don't understand, but still, my suggestion is to call the police and tell them about everything you have done, and they should help you find a better mommy and daddy. Well, I'm going to go now. Remember what I said, and please, take care. In all my years, I never did think anyone would save me from my abusive parents, but today, I was proven wrong. Chiku, thank you so much for saving Caillou from those evil child abusing parents. Or shall we say, Boris and Doris, they so deserve it for cutting off Caillou's private parts and stomping on them, committing terrorism on Chuck E. Cheese, raping him, and laughing at Caillou's suicide. You are so ungrounded 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 for life. You can do whatever you want. Come on, Master Chief. Let's get out of here.